Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to share what is earning income and what is passive income and what are the differences between earned income and passive income. Have you ever thought about ways you could earn more money aside apart from your job? Of course you would have thought about it. Of course you want it. Everybody does. Everybody wants to be earning passive income whilst working in their job that they're working in. And again, in this video, I'm going to share what earning income is, what passive income is, and how you can distinguish the two and find out what is best for you. Personally, I think passive income is the best thing you could ever have that will take you to the next level. Before we get going, if you like this video, or any of my videos, hit the like button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of these amazing tutorials. Let's get to this video. Before we get there, we need to define why is it so important to understand what these two differences are? Why is it so important to make sure you have at least one of them but the best one to have personally i think is passive income right but let's drill down and understand what are the differences and what is the definition for each let's start with active income or earned income active income or earned income is income you generate from doing a specific job and get paid for the hours or the effort you've inputted in that job. This could be a job you've already secured working as an accountant, working as, a, as an IT technician, working a, as a doctor. The only way you make money is by physically working or consulting or advising someone to do something or executing a task, basically. So that's what we call active income. So therefore, if you don't do any of those tasks, you don't get paid for it. However, if you're in a job where there is a salary, even if you're not actively working, if you're on holiday, you get paid for it. But there's a limit on it of how much paid holiday you get, how, may, how much sick pay you get, and how long you can go off sick pay and get in your salary. So basically, it's based on you actively getting involved. In contrast, Passive income, as the word said, passive, you don't have to actively involve to make that money, right? And that money is not as a result of work you've done physically, so to speak. You may have actually did a bit of work at the beginning to allow you to get that passive income. What that means then basically, whether you work or you don't work, you advise, you consult, you still get money coming to you, get paid to you, whether you've done something or not. So you're passively, actively doing that, getting that income coming in. So here's the reason why it's called passive. You don't have to actively do anything to achieve that, that financial reward. Okay, it's very important for you to know this because this is the thing that we call you make money whilst you sleep. You've already invested. For example, an example of a passive income would be an investment you've made. Suppose you invested in a business, for example. There's a supermarket down the road and the owner of the supermarket approached you and said, I would like you to invest in my, in my, in my, in my business, say, suppose it's £10,000, £10,000, and I will give you a return on your investment a monthly return on investment for about maybe 300 or 400 pounds, okay? So what that means to be, once you put that 10,000 pounds as an investment to that business, you automatically get that 300 pounds paid to you every single month without you actively being involved in the business, right? So that's what we call, you make your money work for you instead of you working for the money, okay? So if you're in a job, you only get paid for the, for the inputs you've, you've, you've put in. If you, if, you, if you invest passively, you get money for, for making that upfront investment. 
again, that's the benefit you get. You get money, you get paid without doing anything. Okay? So these are the two definitions of passive active income or passive and active income. Okay? Let's now talk about what are the differences. Active income or earned income is an income like your salary, as I've just said just now. The salary you get paid every single month, that mark makes you feel safe and secure because you know that you've got that money coming to you every single month, right? So basically, you've got that fixed income coming in, okay? Another example of an active income would be a sole trader, right, who had to work to be able to make that money. Maybe someone who, who owns a corner shop, right, who is the sole proprietor of that corner shop. He hasn't employed anybody or anyone to actually um, uh, do the business on his behalf. So he has to be there every single day, open the shop to serve his customers. Again, he's generating active income. However, he's getting more because he, he's running a business, but without him being there, the business doesn't operate. So again, that's what we call active income. Another example of active income is also hourly wage. Suppose you got a contracting job or you are working on a, on a casual basis. The money they pay in an hourly basis is an active income because the less hours you worked, the less money you get. The more hours you work, the more money you actually get. So this is what you call you working for the money instead of the money working for you. Right? Another active income could be a doctor. A doctor who owns a surgery, a sole doctor who owns a surgery, basically opens a surgery or a dental practice where he is the sole proprietor of that dental practice. He makes money only when he's got clients in the business and he does his service to them and then he gets paid. If he's away on holiday, if his surgery is shut or his dental practice is shut, he doesn't make any money out of it. Or if he's got ill, and again, nobody's there to actually serve his client, he doesn't make that income. And again, that is an active income. And again, consulting is an active income as well, because if you don't consult or work with the organizations, you don't make that money. Okay? And again, if you're freelancing, so suppose you are a photographer, for example, you, you do photography or videography. Again, if you're not there physically doing that job, you don't get paid. So again, that is an active income. Right? That is a sort of active income lots of people, 95% of the population has or have because that's how the government has structured the countries to operate or function. Let us now talk about passive income. Passive income is more stable. It gives you the financial stability. It gives you the financial, what I call security. It gives you the confidence to take your financial situation in your own hands, to make you take control, responsibility, and make making financial position, being a financially free as your duty. So that's what passive income does, because it provides that stability to allow you and your family to live a, to live a comfortable life to live the life of your desires, to live the life of your own dreams, to live the life that will take you to the next level, to help your communities, your society, the people around you. That is the financial stability everybody is, is literally yearning for. That's exactly what I'm going to talk to you about, what that is. Because what that means, you are not reliant on a paycheck. You're not relying on someone to pay you a salary. You're not relying on someone to pay you for your consultation you've done. It allows you to retire early. If you want to re retire at the age of 35, 45, 50, by generating passive income, that's what allows you to do all that. It allows you to meet your goals, to easily achieve your goals and maintain those goals to take your financial situation to the next level. It allows you to live the dream life that you want to achieve. So let's now talk about how do you make passive income or what are the examples of passive income? At the beginning of this session, I did I, I, I identify the, the, the investment you could make in a business where you be an investor and then you get your return on your investment or interest or however way you decided to um, invest. And another way to make passive income, you may be investing in stock and shares to get a dividend return on your investment. 
It could be investing in a, in a startup business, although it's a bit riskier. But if that startup does really, really well, it generates your passive income. Again, company value goes up, you make money that way as well. But the best, personally, I think is the best, is real estate. Some people call it properties. For me, properties is the best way you could generate passive income because what I've done basically, I've observed multi-millionaires and billionaires and understand how they've used property to actually generate wealth. Because what they do, they use properties to store their wealth. The reason why I like properties, why I think property is one of the best passive income you could invest in to get massive return on investment is this following reasons. Number one, when you buy a property, when you purchase a property, right? If you need a hundred thousand pounds properties, you only need to put down 25%, which is a leverage on your side of things because the bank will lend you 75,000 to buy that hundred thousand pounds property. And with that property, you make money in two ways. You make money, which is the passive income, which everybody's yearning for, which is a cash flow, which some people call the rental income you receive from renting that property. Suppose you bought that property for 100,000, you rent that property out for say 600 pounds, taking all your expenses out, you may make a net profit of 300 pounds. And that 300 pounds is money that we call passive income. It is residual income. Meaning after you've bought that house, you got that tenant in that property, you don't have to do anything else to make that 300 pounds every single month. And that 300 pounds will be consistent for your entire generation. For you, your children, your grandchildren, and your great, 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 great grandchildren. That becomes a lifeline of passive income. No matter what the economic climate is, even if you had a recession, you still make that passive income because what happens if your tenant could not afford to pay you your rent, the government subsidizes them to help you pay your rent. Okay? In contrast, if it's a dividend, if your company goes bust or something wrong with that company, you don't get that passive income or dividend coming in, right? But where's property You've got that passive cash flow coming in every single month? That would be for your entire generation until you sell that property or until you pass it on to your children or to your great-great-grandchildren. Again, that's a lifetime investment. That's what takes your life to the next level. That's what takes you to the, to the financial, pinnacle financial situation you want to be in. Because that's what successful people do. Imagine then, right? Let's just imagine for one minute. Let's say you had 100,000 pounds. You were able to secure five of these properties. And each of these properties is generating a minimum, a minimum of 300 pounds a month, right? If he times that by five, that is 1,500 pounds a month. Every single month you get that money without you getting involved. You've got the estate agencies to manage the property for you. You've got a maintenance team to look after the properties. You could be anywhere in the world and you will continue to generate that 1,500 pounds per month. And that is 18,000 pounds a year. Again, you have not done anything to get that money. This is what we call you make money whilst you sleep. You don't have to actively involve to make. You can go out with friends and families. You can go on holiday. You can be anywhere in, 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 in the world. You still make that money. Again, the benefit of doing that, you don't get that 300 pounds or 1,500 pounds every month for the, for the next five, six years. Guess what? That 300 pounds increases as well because what happens if you're, if, you're, if you're a good property investor, you have in your contract that rent increases every year, right? If rent increases every year, that 300 pounds will not just be 300 pounds every single month. It increases every year. Suppose you increase it for 10%, that's 330 pounds right for the next year again that's how it, it increases to reflect inflation and the interest rate so basically what that means what that means you start from a basic 300 pounds and it accumulate all the way up there and that is passive income that you don't have to do anything for and again with properties it's there it's solid it's a fixed asset you can walk past, you can drive past, you can visit it, you, you can inspect it, you can hug it and you can kiss it. Hence the reason why I love that part of properties, that passive income. The second benefit 
of buying properties to generate your passive income, you also get what we call capital appreciation, right? Suppose you had those properties for two, three years and the property prices goes up by 10% each in each property, right? You would go and remortgage that property in two years. Time. Again, you don't have to actively go in. All you do is to instruct a solicitor, instruct a mortgage broker to go and do the work for you, right? And it could be anywhere in the world you can instruct them to do this for you. Suppose property prices went up by 10%. In each of those properties, each property would have generated you £10,000 in those two years. So if you've got five properties, that is £50,000. £50,000 is what you would have appreciated in value by just keeping the property. And guess what? Tenants still paying you your rent. Okay? So what you could do with that 50,000 pounds, you can go and buy two more properties or three more properties or maybe one property if you don't want to go big, right? But again, that's an addition to your asset, right? Suppose you went and buy two more properties, then that gives you how many properties? That gives you seven properties. And if each, each of those properties are generating you 300 pounds, again, it's a massive return on your investment. That is nearly, nearly two over 2,000 pounds. That's 20, over 24,000 pounds in seven properties you would have. And again, that is passive income. That's what gets your life to the next level. And what you could do after that is to do the same thing every two years. Every two years you can buy two properties and then add it to your portfolio. That gets you the passive income that everybody's dreaming about, right? That's what takes your life to the next level. That's what gives you the option or opinion to work for your company. Then you've got a choice to work, right? Suppose you're making 5,000 pound passive income. You don't have to work for anybody else. You work by choice, not by have, having to work. That then allows us to do what we want, the time we want, spend time with, with our family and do a lot, a lot, lot, lot more. So my advice to you in, in this video really is to start thinking on what you need to do to invest in property that will generate you passive income without you actively getting involved, especially with the current economic climate. Inflation is at 7.5%. Is at Your salary has been stagnated for the past five years. It hasn't gone up to reflect inflation. So now is the time to think about what can you do to generate passive income that will take your property investment journey to, to the next level or to take your financial situation to the next level, to allow you to get passive income that would allow you to spend time with your loved ones, to do things when and how you want it, and at the time you want it. If this video is making any sense, don't forget to hit the like button below. Subscribe to my channels, to my social media platforms for more of these educational videos. I'll leave you with this. Do not wait to invest in properties. Invest in properties and wait. It gives you a massive return on investment. So to summarize, if you want to take your financial freedom to the next level, your financial situation to the, to the next level, you have to find a way to generate passive income. An income that you don't need to actively involve to make it. Do you want to start now? Do you want to take action now? I'd, I'd, I would advise you to take action now. Today is the day you make that decision. Because if you make that decision, if you make that transition, it won't just, just be good for you, but it'll be good for you, your family, your parent, your siblings, your community, and it's the first step to take you to the next level, to take you to the promised land, to take you to where you want to be. But not by that salary, because that salary doesn't get you anything. It only gets you your groceries, your mortgage, or your rent. It doesn't take you to the next level because your employers do not care about you. They care about you doing the job they're asking you for. If you go to it over a month, you get sacked. If you haven't got passive income, you're done. You're absolutely done, basically. That's what causes the divorces, sadly. That's what causes problems. That's what causes mental issues. If you're earning now, you're generating good salary, take action now 
to buy properties and invest in properties for passive income. Do you not wait for that pension? Because you would be disappointed. I've got so many of my students who are literally disappointed about the pension. Some of them are working with me. I'm hel I help them pull their pensions out to invest in properties because property gives you a better return on your investment. So do not procrastinate. Make your financial situations your duty, responsibility, and obligation. Again, if you need help with any of these, I'm running a free property investment blueprint courses throughout the UK. It's absolutely free at the comfort of your own house or, or comfort of wherever you are. You can watch me learn. It's completely free. Come and join me and learn how you can use your hard-earned cash to generate your passive income to take your financial situation to the next level. And again, if you do not have time to join me in any of my programs, you can book a free strategic call with me. It's absolutely free. You spend 30 minutes with me to ask me any questions about properties or whether you want to start your property investment journey. I can share with you the most recent property investment strategies that will generate you passive income. If you like this video or any of my videos, hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel for more of these amazing tutorials. I look forward to sharing the next video. Thank you.